Okie doke, in the last video, we created some shapes that didn't look that great. Hopefully, you took on board what I said and you did a bit of, bit of creation, you looked at some of the shorts, you looked at some of the TikTok videos, things like that, and you had a bit of a go at making some of the graphic and stuff. Um, so we're going to get rid of all this rubbish, we'll keep the pebble background. What we're going to do is we're going to do some movement. Okay, so we're going to actually use some programming constructs and actually get our game to do something. Okay. Well, it's not really a game at this point, but we are taking those first initial steps. So I'm going to make a ball. So I'm going to call it ellipse. Nice little ellipse. And then what I'm going to do is instead of putting, setting some X and Y's um, with a number, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in X and Y, and then I'm going to put size. Now at the very top of my program, I'm going to create some variables. I'm going to do let X, Y, size, like that. And then I'm going to do x equals 0. Mm, yeah, we'll do y equals height divided by 2. And then let's say size equals 50. OK, I'll explain what I'm doing in one second once it gets appear on the screen. There we go. So let's just move it on a little bit. So I'll do x plus um size divided by two and obviously size has not been initialized at this point so what i'm going to do is I'm just do size first neaten my code up a little bit let's keep x and y together like that it's not really important that part but more for me personally so what should happen there is i should have my circle pretty much exactly touching the edge but now i've used a variable set things up what i can do now is i can manipulate those variables the whole point of variable is that it can change so what i'm going to do i'm going to do x plus equals one okay now what plus equals is we don't know is it's the same as doing x equals x plus one both is exactly the same thing doesn't matter i just prefer plus equals i just do if i press that what we should see is our ball just start moving across the screen and it'll go off forever. Now, if I take out this clear that I put in last video, you'll see why it's in there now. And maybe you will. I'm just going to have to run it again. You know what? Every other video seems to mug me off. Um, what I'll do is I'll just explain that a bit further. So, let's just... Put this back in. Know what happens when we don't clear this happens. There we go. Because I was putting the background, it seemed to have been because it was redrawing it. It was redrawing the background, so it was hiding it. Now I've taken the background off as well. You'll see I've got this like streak behind, which you might want in the game. That's great. You're doing like a drawing a pattern or something. But what that's doing is that's constantly redrawing on top of itself, but not getting rid of it. So if I put the clear back in, you'll see with no background. It'll now just drift across, if you can see it, which we will be able to, because, um, there we go, you can. I thought the stroke might be in turned off. Let's just move my phone, don't want that going off in the video. That's wet, so I can put that back in, and it's all nice and perfect, okay? So, you're probably thinking now, brilliant, it didn't do anything. And, you're not wrong. So, what we can do now, is we can start using these programming skills we've learned from the previous videos. So, if you remember... We looked at a video on branching. Now a branching, a branch, sorry, is where you can do something based on a criteria or based on a variable. Now we've got lots of variables now, we've got three. So there's loads of things we could do. Now if I really wanted to, I could uh, manipulate the size. So let's, let's look at that first. Let's have size is 50. Let's have size equals 10. And then let's just have X as the width. Spell it right there, Reese. So I'll spell it as if. Do it in my accent then. Um, width. So, see, so I've got my little circle there. But instead of doing x equals x plus 1, I might do size plus equals 1. And what that's going to do is that's going to grow our shape. So, it's going to start in the middle, and size is going to get bigger until it gets to the screen. Amazing. So, what I could do is I could put in some programming logic there. So, what I could do is Say, I don't know, 
if size is less than um, 200, size plus equals 1, else if it's smaller than that, uh, sorry, if it's bigger than that, so if it's less than 200, we can make it bigger. So if it is, hmm, let's just look at this for now. So I say else, because what I don't want to do is do else size minus equals one, because it's, it's just going to go a bit weird. So it's going to get bigger. What you'll see is it's going to get bigger, gets 200, and then sort of freak out a little bit. And now what it's doing now is it's, it's going smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. You see, it's, you can't quite see, but it's jittering a little bit. That's because as soon as it gets to um, 201, it's going to go back to 200 and just keep doing that and keep flicking. But that essentially worked. Let's just stop that for now. So what I'm going to do now is, um, yeah, it sort of worked. It wasn't, it wasn't the best thing ever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually um, make it grow and things like that uh, properly. So making a variable here called grow, which I'm going to set to true. Okay, so it's a Boolean, if we think back to our data types. So what we're going to do is we're going to say something like, if, I don't know, uh, the size is less than or equal to 20, that's my initial size, using the variable 5.2, I'm going to say grow equals true. So we want to go bigger. Else, if um, the size is bigger than 200, I'm going to say um, grow equals false. I could also use grow equals not grow and use the exclamation mark pointer as well. Um, and then I'm going to start to change the size. I'm going to say if you're growing, size plus equals one. Else if you're not growing, size minus equals one. Like that. If I run that now, hopefully. It looked decent. So it's going to get to 200. And then what it should do is get smaller. So no errors there. Let's do, let's go back to how I originally wanted to top it. So what I like doing really is doing not grow. So it flicks in between. So if it's not true, it's false and so on. Um, there we go. Um, So yeah, so if it's less than 20, it gets bigger. And if it gets past that 200 mark, it goes smaller again. So that's our first bit of graphics, really. This could be using like a loading screen or a transition or something. That's our first bit, okay? Nothing amazing there. So let's think about actual movement. This is our size we've done. So let's do exactly the same, right? exactly the same format. But instead of doing all this stuff, let's, let's change the code slightly. So instead of saying if size is greater than, so what if we say, what if the x is greater than or equal to the width? We might say uh, move left. Let's start from move left, okay? So exactly the same process. I've got a Boolean again. So I've got this move left idea. So if I am past this right hand side, Um, so if I'm past the width, I don't want to move left. And I could say else if x is less than or equal to zero, I'm going to say it's move left. So if I'm on this side, move left equals true, sorry. Um, no, no, we're fine because I'm moving right, surely. Let's get it right, Reese. Um, and if I'm at this side, I want to move left. Yes, right. Okay, so let's ignore this stuff. In fact, let's say if I'm moving left, I'm going to say x minus equals 1. I'm going to say x plus equals 1. And then I'm just going to set this x to be 10. So let's see if it works. So I'm moving left. 
touching the wall, moving right mouse and the digger. And see that's now bouncing between my bits. Okay, so let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it. Well, that's bouncing between some walls. Now what I might want to do, and on top of that, I might also want to have like a speed variable. So I might say speed and then speed equals five and then I can do x plus equals speed so it'll move a bit faster if I want to and then what I might do is I might do exactly the same thing just check I've not done a variable wrong there we go that's the best asset what I might want to do is do exactly the same thing but for the top and the bottom so I could quite easily just so if the y is greater than the height, let's say I've got, so if it's down here, I want to move down, so let's make move down, so let move down equals true, obviously I can change a little bit then, if I wanted to, um, so move down equals true, if the y move down to this false. Exactly the same code. I can literally do exactly the same thing. So I can say if move down and I can do the y. So let's see if that works. a little bit slow to stay. So now it's bouncing off all those edges. But what I could do as well is um, if I want to make sure it sort of isn't perfectly going to the middle of it's here, what I might have is like a, I might have y speed x speed and I might say y speed is 5 x speed equals 4 This keyboard, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit sticky. The keys, it's not, it's not the best. So every time I'm doing X stuff, and then these ones very, there's nothing, nothing crazy in here. I'm not, I'm not doing anything particularly fancy, but I'm just slightly offsetting those numbers. So now it's bouncing a bit more. So if you see them on TikTok. I've actually done a video on how you can quite quickly take something like this and make it into a bouncing DVD logo. By all means, go on to TikTok. I think I'm down as TechHead Online Learning, but I'm going to be changing that to uh, TechHead Online to keep it in sync with this YouTube channel. But please go up there, by all means, give that a look, like, comment, all that stuff. Um, it is appreciated. I've only just started that compared to my YouTube channel, so I'm trying to grow it. But yeah, have a little go. You, what you could do is take this game, make it into a DVD logo, and then just like that, every time it perfectly goes into the corner, maybe we have a little score. You know, so it counts how many times it perfectly hits the corner. It's entirely up to you, what you want to do, but that's your basics on movement. Um, what we're going to look at next is how we can use the keyboard to do some movement. So please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.